Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, Home Assistant Hardwired Part 4 Temperature Measurements. In this video, I will be using one of these units. It's a temperature and humidity transmitter using RS485 bus. Also, I will be using this acquisition board, which can use to connect up to eight one-wire digital sensors and I will be using these sensors to, to connect to that board. So let's start from node red. I already prepped the flow. So we have unit ID number four. To use, to read the temperature, we will be using function code four, read input registers the configuration as the previous one um, okay let's go to modbus map of this device okay so register number one is a temperature register number two is a humidity uh, they say register number 101 is a device address we can use function code free to read or write to it if we need to change the address. Register number 102 is a baud rate. Uh, register number 103 is a temperature correction and register number 104 is a humidity correction. So let's try to read the temperature. Oh, one more thing, buffer parser. If we want to read the integer value, then this is correct settings. Offset is two because every register have two bytes. So first register, second register will be offset two because two bytes offset from the first one. And this is the value, this is a multiplier. Why is like this? Because, let me show you one more thing. If we read directly, we got 176 and 550. Basically, if we need, int if we read integer value, it won't have the decimal space. So, common thing, what they do, they multiply first, and then when we read it, we need to divide it by 10, or sometimes by 100. So, if it's 550, that means it's 55% or if it's 176, that means it's 70.6 degrees. So this multiplier does the job. Okay, so on the Modbus map, we got device ID register 101, baud rate 102, Temperature correction 103 and humidity correction 104. But if we try to read these registers, it's nothing happened. They basically don't exist. Basically, this mod map, mod what I found online, is not exactly correct. So I done more research and I found on YouTube one guy was changing the device address on this unit and he used 257 register. So let's read this one. It's number four. Then I found, I try another register, hoping that's about right, and it was. And then I try another an next two registers. Basically, follow this one. So actually, this is the correct correct registers this modbus map which i found online you may found the same one so don't use this registers use the this ones so okay how we're gonna change the temperature correction basically we're gonna be using function code six press it single register 
so let's redo this. Read the temperature. Oh my. And we got 19.5 19 instead of 17. Okay, if you if you wanna increase, you find out if you find out your temperature sensor it's have different reading reading than than the correct one, and you need to add say two degrees, then you need to multiply by ten. Um, if you need to minus certain value like minus three or minus two, then Let's go to next flow. This is actually the second unit. This unit. Mod bus map for it. This is the connections. This is the mod bus map for it. Actually hold the instruction. Okay, this is a mod bus map. So to read we're using function code free. Let me go back to the right. Instead of reading input registers like the previous unit, we're reading holding registers. What the difference between holding register and input register? Is exactly the same difference like coil or input. Holding register, you can read it and write to it means press it the register same like coil you can read the coil and force the coil input register is just read value same like input status so that's the that's the difference um what i would like to say also this is read holding registers the previous unit has read input registers so sometimes make sure you got correct board mass map first and do exactly what it says on the mod bus map. And then if you can't use say reading you're trying to use read input register and you can't see any value, try read holding register. You may be lucky, maybe maybe it's a just function code wrong on the manual. Same, if you try to read inputs, digital input status, and you can't get the value, try to use read call status for the, the register, and it might be correct as well. Okay, so let me clear this one. And I got four temperature sensors connected, and four is not connected. So I got these values. Basically, buffer parts are exactly the same thing. Offset two always. Okay, let me temperature correction. The same thing. Read holding registers. Um, okay, so how we correct the temperature? Exactly the same way, like the previous one. But I says I will explain in a minute why this this is sixty five five o six means we correcting the temperature with minus three. Why is it like this? Because this is what the manual suggests. Set the, set the temperature correction value and they say here somewhere wait a second when the high mm, you can also subtract from this value so if you want to make minus 3 you need to subtract 30 from this value and then use this number like in this example, for example, 65536 minus 30, it's 65506. So use this this value 
to for to press the register and then you will get minus three if you want to get minus two you will minus 20 from this number so that's how it works and it works exactly the same on that other sensor first one basically this one is to make minus two degrees okay so that's pretty pretty much what we can do about one more thing what i like to say this unit you can't set the address on it some of these units i did see on the internet but i couldn't find them to buy them they come you can open the case and you got deep switches like the previous extension from minipy this unit as well haven't got any deep switches so only the way to adjust the to set the device id is to press this register okay if you're using just one unit they then just connect one and it's okay but if you want to use five of them in on one bus you have to change the id address because you can't use the same id address same may happen you need to change the baud rate and basically you using this this register addresses one more thing i would like to say if you say you try to correct the like i start playing with this using this uh, this more bus address set and then i realize usually what i do if this address is not correct i can't see nothing is working on it i will go one less on one or one more so i will try 102 or 104 because like i said in previous video you may need you may have device starting with addresses bus addresses from zero or from one so you try one less or one more but you have to be careful sometimes because if say this one or this one it's not humidity correct but device id for example and you try to play like this you add and then you force press that register with some number like 25 and then basically it's nothing happened when what nothing happens straight away if you change the device id address you need to restart the device to make it work with that address before you restart the device you will be able to do everything so imagine you tr try to find out correct register for the temperature correction and you by mistake you force one of the register one the device id register with some odd number and then you forgot about it you switch it off then when you come back next day turn it back on you can't connect to it and then you try to remember what, which registers you was press setting i hope you understand what i'm trying to say same worst case scenario i'm thinking i'm not sure what will say if you press this register if you want to change the baud rate for say 19200 then you probably need to press the register with 19200 number and say for example you was playing with the unit and suddenly you press this register with a number i don't know 155 for example i'm not sure what will be happened do you will be able still to log into this device i will imagine most of the devices will wouldn't accept the odd number like 155 will only accept the baud rate common bar rate uh, numbers so but some of the devices may not do that i don't know i don't want to try it basically because i may not be able to log back into the to this device to change it i may not be able to connect to this device so you have to be aware of this as well i will recommend also i'm using two pass to home assistants home assistant sorry i'm using the sensor note so i can display this humidity and temperature 
values and use it for automation. Okay, I almost forgot one quite important thing. This is um, the unit, this unit, sorry, this unit. So, temperature correction is address number 10, yeah? But when we go to the Modbus map, we got this kind of address. First channel, it's number 8, second, number 9. Third, number A. Fourth, number B. Fifth, number C. So, what that means? That means is a hex address. So, how you can convert? You just go to Google, Google hexadecimal to decimal converter, and you basically type address hex address and convert it to and that's how it works then you can get binary number as well pretty handy website I think also you type the in Google hexadecimal to decimal this this website coming up first so and it's quite probably quite a few of them so let me check one more thing. Say, this is the settings. This was the address. I think this is 253. This one is, I think, 254. And this one is, I think, 255. I think it is like this. <laughs> Can't remember now. So, try to remember. You can have Modbus Mark with hex addresses and nothing else to do just convert it to decimal and use it as a decimal and no problem okay one last thing this is not only the way to to read the temperature using modbus actually this is not a common way in industrial in industrial automation they use usually this kind of extension with analog input so you can connect to this analog input actually on this extension you can connect signal 0 to 10 volt or 0 to 2.5 volt current or resistance this extension can read three different type of analog values so if you connect say sensor like PT-1000 is a thermistor basically thermistor is a resistor which resistance is dependent on the temperature so if the temperature change the resistance change so if we can read the resistance we can recalculate what the temperature is so this is actually most common way in industrial but you can also use a Modbus to one wire gateway. This is a UniPi one actually right now. Um, this unit have two one wire buses. One bus you can use to connect multiple devices because it's a serial bus and you connect them as a daisy chain. So you can use those sensors what we use for that acquisition board, this kind of sensors. But you can use different ones, it's a uh, lot of them. Basically, this is the kind of sensor. So, I think that's all to for today's video. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.